everyone live to Chimpy Chip Smackdown as we're off the heels of WWE Payback. And tonight, it's all about Championship Gold. Three titles on the line here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Especially in our main event, where the WWE title on the line, Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, takes on the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, who will be able to walk out as WWE Champion at the end of the night. Well, wait a minute, Alexa Bliss. Looks to be a bit normal compared to before. Looks like Alexa's no longer about having fun and playing games. The real Alexa Bliss is back and is looking to regain the SmackDown Women's title, which will kick off the show. Oh, this Miss Money to Bank, Liv Morgan. Looks like she got her eyes on the championship match as well. So much on the line here on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. SmackDown Women's title on the line here tonight. For the first time since all the way back at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, the normal, the real Alexa Bliss is back here on SmackDown. Because since WrestleMania, Alexa Bliss has been playing a lot of mind games with her opponents. And she was able to do so, I think she took it too far by making a Fatal 4-Way match at the Payback pay-per-view. And that bit her in the backside, so now she's looking to go back to her real self, going back to her roots, just to regain the SmackDown Women's Championship that she lost to Becky Lynch. Alexa Bliss is going to rectify what happened only a week ago. But ladies and gentlemen, Atlantic City has become big time with the new SmackDown Women's Champion. As the man has come around the SmackDown with the gold raising above her head. Walking with pride, no doubt, Becky Lynch, a three-time SmackDown Women's Champion. First time winning that championship all the way back since 2K18 many years ago and now tonight without even wasting any time looking to defend her championship here on smackdown what a way to kick the show off we have a lot of great action for you tag titles are on the line later on we're going to see the intercontinental champion in action and more here we go ladies and gentlemen smackdown women's title on the line Alexa Bliss, Becky Lynch, both women know what is on the line to kick off SmackDown. The bell is swung, and here we go, right the back, kick to the midsection, and both women to the lockup there, but Bliss, and now Bliss able to send her to the corner, and now Alexa, oh, Becky, able to catch her with a elbow, and that wicked slap as well. Oh, driving the skull of Bliss onto her knee, and now Big Tom Bex off the ropes, trying to go for a leg drop, but Alexa got the way. And now look at this, Alexa! Even to take her head and just plant it her face first. And now Becky trying to go for a slap again, but a chop, but that time countered. Both women going back and forth, trying to exchange blows. Both women were a part of the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match along with Shotzi Blackheart and Sonya Deville, but it was Becky and Sonya that got eliminated. Alexa Bliss was the first one eliminated out of the match. So no doubt that had to set her off. Didn't even waste any time to get a rematch for the Women's Championship. Oof. She even tapped out to Becky Lynch herself in that match. Oh wait, Oof. counter for counter, and I got her in the corner. Saw that forearm shot to the, to the lower back, and now I believe raking the eyes there. Oh, wow. Wicked right there by Bliss. And now Alexa looking to work on the leg. Alexa Bliss working on the leg of Becky. 
Again, they're gonna do what she can to wear down the champion to regain the gold. Alexa going up top. You see, looking for a twisted bliss here. Could it be? No, big old splash instead. Able to risk it all with a Hail Mary splash. Is it enough to win back the championship? Look at the leg. And Becky Lynch still able to kick out. Alexa Bliss trying to figure out a game plan. They're going to execute, but Becky Lynch also got a game plan. They're going to perform it. Butterfly suplex there by the champion. And uh, oof. Alexa and Becky going out of here. And now look at this. Almost like a camel clutch by uh, Alexa Bliss on the champion. And then, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. And, ooh. Becky Lynch able to get up the hold. And now, try to go for a move. Nice counter by Bliss for the back elbow. And now, Becky Lynch with a clothesline. Now Becky sending the challenger onto the outside. And now the champion in control here. Look at to try to dictate the pace of this match into her favor. Just so Becky Lynch can have a better chance of walking out with the championship. But Alexa Bliss able to get out the whole count of two by the referee as both women on the outside swinging for the fences there. Kick to the midsection there. And now Becky Lynch. Ooh. Just tossing Bliss across ringside. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's title on the line to kick off SmackDown tonight. There's Alexa. Oof. Just oh, hyper extending the left leg. Ten of five now. And now they're gonna Alexa. Oh wow. Count of six and oof. Alexa Bliss stomps in the skull. And now Alexa sends her into the post. Count to seven. But I don't think she realized she can't win the title this way via count out. Wait, but Bliss realized it going up top. Big splash up to the outside. She recognized she couldn't win the title via count out. So she broke the count by delivering a splash. And now Bliss is the one in control over the champion. Things are not looking good. Look at this. Again, submission hold on the outside. Three. Both women just trying to do their best. To oh, wow. Keep each other down, but Bliss able to get the uh, upper hand in that exchange. Sending the champion into the steel steps. Count of five, but again, Bliss realized she can't win the championship that way. Able to break the count again. Oof, kick to the midsection. Try to go for a right, blocked it. Count of three. And now Alexa, oh, try to send him to the steps. Becky able to stop us at that time. But Bliss able to get it from behind, but Becky with a kick. Five. Count of five. Now, oh, Bliss able to dodge. Oh, wow. What a wicked right by Becky. And now Lynch. A leg drop. Seven. Becky Lynch, count of seven. Both women just going at it at ringside. Kick to the midsection. Oh, no. Butterfly. Count of eight. Count of eight. This match can end by a count out. Count of nine. Could it be? Count of nine. And no. Becky Lynch able to break the count. Luckily. I mean, Becky could have won it, but I guess she didn't want to end it that way. It was at a count of nine, but I don't know. Maybe the referee gave them a little bit of leeway. Because knowing that this is a championship match. Two. Did not want to start SmackDown in a 
in a poor way, if you will. Alexa Bliss got Becky here, but Becky able to get out the hole. Three. Count of three again. And now it's Becky sending the challenger back in the ring. Both women just going at it back and forth at ring side. Kick to the midsection. Bliss, Bliss DT! Bliss DT scrambles into the cover to win the championship. Bliss, new champion, two time. No, Becky able to kick out. Oh my god, not able to win the title that way. Not able to catch the champion off guard. Not able to win the title for the second time. Trying to go for the double knees. Bliss got off the uh, Becky rather got off the way. Wicked paper ups. Slap in the face. And now Becky got her up. No, nice counter chop block. And now Alexa. Just working on the body parts of Lynch. And now Alexa up top. Oh, wow. Crash and burn. But Bliss, I guess she got the better end of that, of that exchange there. Of that situation. And Bliss twisting and turning the arm, plunging down the champion. And now, Bliss again with the submission. Is Becky, again, Becky still able to fight, still able to still be in the match. Bliss is trying everything she can think of to put away the champion. Form in the face counter. Caught her again with the midsection. And now Lynch with the rights. And now Becky off the ropes. Leg drop. Here comes Big Tom. The leg drops. And now Becky Lynch feels it's time to put away Bliss here. Got the arm. She got the arm. Could it be time? Could we see a repeat of payback? Lynch with the disarmor. Bliss taps out. Becky remains as the women's champion. Through all of that, the man still able to be big time as the women's champion. Becky Lynch, still the women's champion of SmackDown. And now, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And, oh, Becky Lynch poured salt on the wound, assaulting. Oh, hey, wait. Tony Storm. That's Tony Storm. Storming. Throwing hands. Takes the champion outside the ring. Tony Storm saving Alexa Bliss. What a weird situation. Knowing the history between these two. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, still to come on SmackDown. Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion, will announce his title defense against Keith Lee. Also, Kevin Owens will be in action in a non-title matchup against True McIntyre. Also, our main event, WWE title on the line, Pete Dunne challenging the Tribal Chief, the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. That's later on tonight, also later on tonight, tag team titles on the line. Mustache Mountain looking for a fight, Diamond Mine answers the call. Who will be able to walk out with the tag team titles? We'll find out later on, all on SmackDown tonight. The next time we're live on pay-per-view, it is WWE 2K22 presents Judgment Day. For the first time in Universe Mode history, but for the first time since 2009, we will host a Judgment Day pay-per-view featuring both Raw and SmackDown brands. You don't want to miss WWE Judgment Day. Now well, there's Tony Storm. Obviously, Tony Storm wants that women's title that she lost a few months ago. Never got a rematch. I guess Tony wasn't really okay with saving Bliss, but she had to do what she had to do. Challenging Becky for a match at Judgment Day for the championship. Oh, wait a minute. It's Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, I guess... Uh, Giving respect to Tony Storm after that save moments ago. 
Obviously, Alexa Bliss still wants the championship back as well. Tony Storm challenging Bliss to a match. Alexa Bliss accepts. And if she wins the match, they'll make the, the challenge between Storm and Lynch a triple threat for the women's title of Judgment Day. What? Well, we're going to see how things play out later on tonight. We're going to see how Booker T fares with that assessment between Tony Storm and Alexa Bliss. Tony Storm said, if you got a problem with me challenging the, the champion, Becky Lynch, then me and you can do something about it. And Bliss is like, screw it. I'll face you next week. And if I win, I'm in the match, making it a triple threat for the women's title. We're going to see how that will play out throughout, uh, I guess, the show or next week. But right now, time to switch gears because here comes the Intercontinental Champion, the five-time Intercontinental Champ, the prize fighter himself in Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens won that Intercontinental Championship from John Cena on a Christmas Day special of Monday Night Raw many months ago and now has been champion ever since, never lost the title, defended it against the likes of Braun Breaker, against the likes of Shinsuke Nakamura, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley. And I asked Keith Lee on his tail. Everybody wants to know when will Kevin Owens face Keith Lee. It almost seems like he's ducking Keith Lee. It'll be at Judgment Day. Judgment Day, Hell in the Cell will be Kevin Owens against Keith Lee for the Intercontinental title. And obviously, oh, wait a minute. What? He mentioned his name, and he's going to face him. Here comes the Scottish Warrior. Here comes the former... Intercontinental Champion in his own right. NXT Champion as well. In Drew McIntyre. As the flames begin to rise. As the Scottish Warrior ready for battle against the Intercontinental Champion. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be interesting. For all we know, Drew McIntyre could derail all the momentum that Kevin Owens have garnered in the last couple of months. When it comes to the Intercontinental title, somehow Kevin Owens has been successful. He's defeated up-and-coming stars like Braun Breaker. He's defeated legendary superstars like Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley. Able to take on the King of Strong Style, defeated him as well. But ever since getting drafted to SmackDown, Owens has yet to defend the Intercontinental title. Up until now, when he'll defend it against Keith Lee at Hell in the Cell. But right now... Bell is wrong. Non title matchup. Owens against Drew McIntyre. McIntyre off the bat. Caught him into a bell to belly. Able to catch him into a bell to belly suplex. And now McIntyre able to toss Owens onto the top rope. Oof. DDT able to plant him. And now, oof. Shot to the face, and again. Ooh, stomping out McIntyre. As, ooh. Owens able to do some damage in the corner. Off top, he goes! And able to catch McIntyre in the back with that double axe handle. And now, Kevin Owens. Trying to measure McIntyre here. Trying to be smart about it. Able to spike him out of the corner. Owens goes into the cover ladder. Oh, press. And oh, McIntyre able to stay alive. And now Owens up the second row. 
Owens off the ropes with that senton. Able to build momentum there. And now Owens to the Colossal Clutch. Got him locked in. Is McIntyre going to tap? No. Not the case at all. And now Drew McIntyre. He able to come back with a neck breaker. Oh, now where, where the hell is Drew going? Drew looking to fly in. Oh, no. I think he went over Owens. I think Owens ducked him, but able to catch him with a German suplex. And now Kevin Owens got. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, light sweep. And now Owens. Devastating clothesline. Down goes McIntyre. And now the. The prize fighter still spiked him on his head with a DDT. And now Kevin Owens off the ropes again. Sent on on the McIntyre. And oh, big boot. Down goes Owens. Remember, this is a non tunnel matchup, but things could change if McIntyre could win. For all we know, whatever plans that's in the intercontinental title scene could be changed starting tonight. Oh, trying to go for a kick. Nice counter by McIntyre. Able to play up that Owens. Trying to go for that kick. But look at Owens trying to swing. McIntyre with a headbutt. And now got him up on his shoulders. Bad intentions. Oh. Off the top rope. Drew McIntyre able to stay in it. Now they're going to go down. And oh. And oh wait, wait, stutter! Owens out of nowhere! Stutter on the back and tire! Hook of the leg! Could it be enough? And back and tire got the shoulder up at the last moment. Oh, and he tried to go for a, a last minute like sent on, and he tried to go for a Claymore to McIntyre, but luckily Owens able to dodge, and now Owens again trying to go for the sent on, but McIntyre got the knees up, and McIntyre caught him with the Claymore! Claymore, the Intercontinental Champion! Could it be? Firing it all cylinders and Owens able to get the shoulder up. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Woo. Close, but no cigar for both men. The stunner not able to put him away. The Claymore not able to put him away. And now McIntyre going up. Uh oh. Uh oh. No oh, dropping a leg drop. McIntyre. Trying to go outside the box and now look at Owens sending him to the outside. And now look at this up. Up on his shoulders and. Ooh, torture rack, neck breaker on the floor. Count of three by the referee. And now McIntyre, oh, gets sent into the steps there. And now the Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens, stomping all over. Oh, wait a minute, got the leg and a dragon screw. Count of five by the referee. Remember, this is a non tunnel matchup. But again, a win over the Intercontinental Champion can speak, can speak volumes for, the, for the, the likes of Drew McIntyre. And oh, face first off the apron. Count of six. With WWE Universe Electric here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Count of seven. McIntyre able to get back in the ring. Count of eight. Count of eight. Owens back in the fray. Big kick to the left leg. Chop. And another. Owens. Boom. Double knees. Able to catch him with the double knees. And now Owens. Attacking that left leg again. And now Owens going up top. Referee trying to tell him to get down. But I don't think Owens is going to listen. Frog splash. Frog splash connected. Goes for the cover. In the middle of the ring. Lateral press to win here. McIntyre stays alive. And Owens can't believe it. The Intercontinental Champ can't believe he kicked out of the frog splash. Sends him over the top hanging on. And now Owens, oh, got caught. McIntyre caught him, hung him up to dry. Oh, Mr. Wright, and again, double knees. He caught him again with the double knees. And now McIntyre, uh-oh, got him. Uh, look at this, hoisting him up. Go to the belly. Belly to belly by Owens. And McIntyre.
Claymore. Welcome to Claymore Country Owens. And a cover up the Claymore. McIntyre picked the champion. Drew McIntyre's pinned the Intercontinental Champion. No doubt in my mind, Drew McIntyre might have changed the game as far as the Intercontinental title scene goes. Does this mean that McIntyre is in line for a title shot? I, I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see as this whole thing develops here on SmackDown. Big win for McIntyre. The next event for NXT will be NXT Great American Bash, only weeks from tonight, live in Washington, D.C. There's a happy Corbin. And injustice as Jeff Hardy, who defeated him on the last episode of SmackDown, Obviously, Corbin not happy about that, but I guess he recognized the things that he has was able to make him happy again. I think he just quoted Aaliyah there. First, you don't see, brush it off and try again. Well, Corbin, now they're going to stop uh, with this mission of making things a lot happier here on SmackDown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the tag team titles to be on the line. Another great match in the wings as Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly, Diamond Mine, make their way down the aisle. The reason why this tag match is happening tonight is because Mustache Mountain was in a fighting mood after defending the tag team titles at WWE Payback pay-per-view against the Usos. They wanted to try their luck again and they wanted to defend their tag titles against any tag team and the tag team that was able to step up was Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong of Diamond Mind. And now tonight, we got a tag title match and we're going to see how things will fare out. Could we see new tag team champions? Will this bite Mustache Mountain in the ass, or will Diamond Mine not succeed? Will Mustache Mountain continue to be at the top of the mountain of the tag team division? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the last time Diamond Mine competed for the tag titles was against the New Day on the SmackDown after WrestleMania a few months ago, and things didn't end well for those two in Colorado and Roderick Strong. But here comes the champs. The two men that has been uh, successfully defending their tag titles, being fighting champions. And now, they're making their way towards the ring as they're getting ready for battle. Former NXT Tag Team Champions, former NXT UK Tag Team Champions as well. They uh, dominated the UK scene for over many, many years, and now they're over here on SmackDown here in North America. They're gonna turn things around in the tag team division. Tyler Bate, Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, the first ever WWE United Kingdom Champion. Along with his buddy, Trent Seven. And now we're gonna see how things will play out in this tag team match. Mustache Mountain, a beloved tag team by the entire WWE Universe. The fans here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, giving them a nice, warm reception. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get it on with the tag titles being on the line. Mustache Mountain ready to go. Diamond Mine ready to go here tonight. Tag Team Tunnels on the line here on SmackDown. This is going to be very, very interesting. Tyler Riley, Roderick Strong waiting for this moment. Can they seize the opportunity? Or will Mustache Mountain continue to be the pinnacle of SmackDown's Tag Team Division? Here we go. Tonight here on Championship SmackDown. 
every title on the line. Here we go. Battle Strong, and there we go. Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong beginning this match for their respective teams. As oof. Roderick Strong with the elbows right to the midsection. Roderick Strong wearing great tights. Representing Diamond Mine is Tyler Bay, but the receiver, uh, Alabama Slam! Tyler Bay from uh, the United Kingdom, from Dudleyville, United Kingdom. Or Dudleyville, England, I should say. Got him up here, trying to go for a suplex, and, oh wait. Got him up. Got him up high, look at this. Roderick Shaw, look at the strength here. All the blood flowing through the skull of Bate, no doubt. Able to do some damage, but look at that. Tyler Bate able to turn that around. And now Tyler Bate wisely making a tag. Here comes Trent. Here we go. Irish whip. And now sending strong over the top to the outside. Obviously, Mustache Mountain, the tag team champions. They have champions advantage. They could win via count out, disqualification, pinfall, submission. Either way, they don't have to beat Diamond Mine. Diamond Mine has to beat them to win the gold. But, as Ronald Strong able to create separation, taunting, but like a trance! Oh my god! Roderick Strong got caught locking, and then Trent able to capitalize. Big old chop and trying to go for another one. But now Strong, the Messiah of the Backbreaker, able to put him with a backbreaker right there. And now Roderick Strong creating distance. And now both men back inside the ring. Vertical base, here we go. And now they're going to drag it, so quick. So quick. The impact of that move, no doubt, rattled Roderick Strong there. Got him up there on the shoulders. And now, oof, locks them. Throw first off the top. Rope and a leg drop as well. Things are not looking good for uh, Roderick Strong. Double knee is able to catch him there. Wicked chop by seven and now. And oof, again. Oh, punk strikes. Wicked right. Got it from behind. Up and down. Back suplex. Back suplex. Could it be? Will it be enough? Look at the leg. No, no, no. Not able to get the job done there. Tyler Bay sending a rider to the outside. And now, Mustache Mountain again in control of this tag team title matchup. No! Oh! Discus shot right to the face. As uh, you saw, again, Trent with that leg drop. I think Tyler Bates more focused. I think Colorado's at ringside there. I think Trent wanted to make a tag, but uh, Bates was a bit distracted. And now, ooh, elbow right to the leg. And now up and down. Alabama slam, able to create distance, tag. Here comes Colorado now. We saw Kyle O'Reilly went one-on-one -on -one with Keith Lee weeks ago. It's still oh, Dragon Suplex. I'm sure O'Reilly would like to justify or rectify that, rather. Tag, here comes Tyler Bate. And it's Kyle O'Reilly with a German. The club him with a German Suplex moments ago, and now got Tyler Bate maybe right, right where you want him. Tyrus Swift, oh, forearm. With it go, Riley, and oh! Give it a rebound off the ropes. Able to build leverage or momentum into that clothesline. And now sending Tyler to the outside. Again, Diamond Mine has to beat Mustache Mountain via pinfall or submission. Not the other way around. Even though Mustache Mountain are a respectable tag team, would love to do it the right way. You saw a right Lennon on his feet from that suplex attempt. And now laying in shots with Tyler Bate able to counter. And now Tyler Bate with a chop. And a wicked right to the skull. Good grief. And, oh, bashing the skull into the barricade. Trying to go for a suplex. Nice counter. Counter again. Counter for counter. And now Riley sent across ringside. Count of five. Bait back inside the ring. Tyler Riley going to regroup here. Very technical tag team match here. Oh. The head scissors. 
Head scissors standing, moots off to follow. Both teams are trying to hold their own as, oof. Even to do some damage. And now, Tyler Bay, oh, shot to the midsection, and again, back elbow, stunning. Kyle O'Reilly got the arm, and now, ooh. Almost, almost damaging or breaking the wrist of O'Reilly. Now look at this, inverted Boston Crab. Could this be enough? Could to make Kyle O'Reilly tap out here? And no. O'Reilly able to find a way to get out, and he did. Kick to the skull, wicked shots being delivered. No, no, like suplex. A bit of float over into a brain buster. Colorado with innovative offense planted. Kick to the midsection. Got him here. Up and down. Brain buster. Cover. Lateral press to win the gold. And Trent able to make the save. Trent able to make the save at the last moment. But look at O'Reilly. Colorado. Guillotine. Guillotine on the Trent 7. Guillotine on the Trent. But he realized he can't make him tap. Not the right man. Not the legal man in this match. Tyler Bate is the legal man in this tag team match. As Tyler Bate now got him in the corner. Shoulder. Right to the midsection. Over to Riley with a kick. And now O'Reilly sets him in the corner. Kick to the leg. And again. And now O'Reilly knee, knee, knee to the abdomen. Knee to the midsection. Makes a tag. Here comes Roderick Strong. The man behind Diamond Mine. What's this? Got him up on his shoulders. Roderick. Gut check. Gut check. Could it be to win the gold? Hook of the leg. Got his head on the ropes. Head on the ropes. Wait a minute. No way. No, that can't be. Diamond Mine. They did it. Diamond Mine is the champions. Despite the head on the ropes, Trent couldn't make the save. Referee didn't see the head on the ropes. I guess we have new tag team champions, Colorado Roderick Strong, due to a mishap, are the tag team champions. Wow. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the next episode of SmackDown, it's official. Tony Storm will face Alexa Bliss, and if Alexa Bliss wins this matchup, she'll be a part of the women's title match, making it a triple threat at Judgment Day. Also, Keith Lee will take on Drew McIntyre after McIntyre defeated Kevin Owens earlier tonight. If McIntyre beats Keith Lee next week, we will have a triple threat match for the Intercontinental title at Judgment Day. But coming up next is our main event, the WWE title on the line. Roman Reigns defending the title against the Bruiserweight. Pete Dunn. Let's waste a little time. Let's get to it right now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This match was made two weeks ago on SmackDown when Pete Dunn called out the Tribal Chief for a match. He wanted his WWE title opportunity. And, well, luckily he's getting it tonight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Big opportunity for Pete Dunn. I believe this is Pete Dunne's first opportunity at the WWE Championship. And I'm sure he's going to make the most out of it here tonight on Championship SmackDown. He called out Roman Reigns. Paul Heyman tried to intervene and said, no, we decline. And then Booker T, the general manager of SmackDown, who actually makes the matches around here, made the match officially for SmackDown tonight after payback. And especially with Pete Dunne having the upper hand over Roman Reigns last week on SmackDown, no doubt Pete Dunne got a little bit of momentum on his side as far as making a statement at the expense of the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns got a taste of the bitter end. Will that be his future here tonight? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As we all await for the tribal chief himself. The man has been on the top of the mountain for over a year. And that is not fabricated at all. That is not a lie. 
This is actually factual information that I'm sharing with you tonight. Roman Reigns has never lost the WWE title for over a year now. This journey started when he defeated The Undertaker in a champion versus champion match at WrestleMania last year in 2021. Now we're in 2K22 and Roman's on top of the world. With his councilman and Paul Heyman at, right by his side. The tribal chief making his way towards the ring. For those that are new viewers here on in this universe mode, no doubt about it, you are witnessing a man that has been on a dominant role for over a year. He defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Defeated Finn Balor at Backlash. Defeated Rey Mysterio at Money in the Bank. Went on to defeat Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam. And a, or rather Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam. Then Bray Wyatt at Extreme Rules. Then went on to defeat the Demon Finn Balor at Survivor Series. Defeated Drew McIntyre at the Royal Rumble this year. Defeated Jeff Hardy at Elimination Chamber this year. Defeated his own blood, The Rock, at WrestleMania this year. And then at Money in the Bank, the last time he defended the title, he defeated the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. So Roman Reigns, for all that, for all this whole year and a half, has been unstoppable. For those who's been watching since around that time, up until now, you already know the whole story. But those that never watched beforehand and are starting to watch tonight, I just gave you a whole list of superstars he's defeated in the last year. And now tonight, Pete Dunne has his chance to change all of that. To not be a statistic, not be a part of a long list. Tonight, it's either Roman Reigns stands tall as the WWE Champion or Pete Dunne gives Roman Reigns his title reign. It's bitter end tonight. Big fight feel here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. If you're a gambling man or if you're a gambling person, I wonder who would you bet your money on in this match. Here we go. Got some fans of Pete Dunne trying to rally here tonight with the WWE title on the line. Here we go. Wasting little time. Roman Dunne one on one. Here we go. And right off the bat, Dunne with the strikes all over Reigns. Wicked headbutt onto the champion. Pete Dunne knows what it's like to win a world title. He won the NXT World Championship from uh, Buddy Murphy at the Royal Rumble last year. He knows what it's like to win championship gold. But let's see if he can execute that here tonight. Has Dunne in control over the Tribal Chief. Look at that, biting the hand there. Oh my god. Wait, are the... The fans just can't break his fingers. And Dunn, look at the dude with his, with his mouth, I think. But luckily able to dodge that one. And now Reigns got him in the corner. Oh. Oh. Repeated clotheslines out of the corner there by the Tribal Chief. And now the head of the table. Look at the beat of one in control. Look at the beat of one to call the shots. Well done. Back elbow to the face of the WWE Champion. Got his hands on the wrist. Able to... Oh, no doubt. Applying pressure. Oh, doing damage. Kicked out of midsection. Done have him here. Wait a minute. X Plex. X Plex on the champion to win the gold. First time ever in his career. Hook of the lag and reigns. Not looking to let go of his long championship reign. Pete Dunn. Oh, trying to go for a chop like a rain. So, oh. able to fire back. And now Roman. What's this? Got him here. Oh no. Stun gun. Shades of Stone Cold with the stun gun there. And now Roman Reigns in the court. What the? Reigns going up top. 
Referee better watch himself. Reigns. What the hell is he going to do here off the top rope? Roman Reigns! Oh, got caught! Caught him into a power slam! And look at this, look at this, Paul Heyman, knowing that his travel chief, his meal ticket's in trouble, and now Roman, trying to capitalize, caught him into a Samoan drop. And you notice that Roman, he able to hit him with a headbutt moments ago, which is, uh, you don't want to get headbutted by a Samoan, because they're hard-headed. And now Roman. Oh, wait, nice counter by Dunn. Counter after counter. Both men try to hold their own here. And now, oh, Roman trying to go for something, but Dunn able to counter. Looking right. Kicked in the midsection. And now, oh, wait, 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 wait. Got him here. Almost like a guillotine, almost. He got him in a submission hold, but Dunn able to find his way out. Shot to the midsection, but elbows to the face. And now, Pete Dunn. Butterfly, butterfly. Big old stomp. And now, oh, wait, 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 Could it be? Could it be time? He done! Bitter end! Bitter end! He got him! He got the champion! He got the champion! He got him! No, Reigns able to get the kick out of two! Oh, my God. Able to get the shoulder up at the last moment. Just when I thought it was over, not the case. And I'm done trying to drag. 265 pounds of Roman Reigns in the middle of the ring just to do more damage, just to get him away from the ropes, preventing Reigns from ever getting a chance to save his title, whether it's using a rope break or kicking out. But no doubt, look at that. Oh! Working on the arm and the, the hand of Reigns and then double knee to the spine to win the championship. No, Reigns able to stay alive. Oh my god. One big move is all Dunn needs. One big move is all he needs to put away Roman. But look at Roman! Guillotine! Guillotine on the Dunn! Pete Dunn could be finished here! Guillotine applied onto the challenger! And uh, oh, wait, 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 look at Dunn! Look at Dunn! Able to float over! Dunn able to get out the hold! Roman can't believe it! Kick to the midsection chop and a big old kick. Wicked right. Oh my god. Knocked the champion down, but then took him down for good. And now look at this. Roman Reigns. Big dog. Tribal chief in position. And no. Cut him on the knee. Done. Cut him on the knee. But look at Paul Heyman. Trying to pay dividends. Done. Recognize he has his on the ball. He cannot. He cannot mess this up now! Better end! Better end on the champion! We have a new champion! Pete Dunn! Look at what the title! And other, what the? The lights went out! What the hell happened? What happened? What the? He went! Roman! No set! Curb stomp! Curb stomp by Seth Rollins! Where the hell did he come from? Roman in the cover! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Not like this! Roman retains! You gotta be kidding me! This is bullsh! Here is your winner, Seth Rollins screwed Pete Dunne at an WWE by God title! Seth Rollins is a no good son of a. I can't believe it. Oh, no. We're out of time. Pathetic.